for Mr. J. He's Star's new BFF. Not mine. Don't give Star a break. His mom was her doctor. Trust me, I know all about it. I'm not mad at Mr. J. I'm mad at Star. I mean, if she hadn't lied in court, her father would have gone to jail and maybe Cole would have stopped doing what he's doing. It's not Star's fault. Okay, well, that doesn't change the fact that she told me I couldn't understand because my father's dead. Oh, come on, you know she didn't mean that. She's in a bad place right now. She was in a no-win situation. She puts her dad away. She's got to answer to her brothers. You're her best friend. She'll start acting like you. We're trusting you now, so you can take the bus to school. I think I ought to drive him. Dad, no, he'll be fine. He'll be fine, right? And besides, we're kind of needed here, so. Yeah, what's going on in there anyway? You know what? It's just family business. There's nothing for you to worry about. So you're not going to tell me? You're going to be late. I don't want you late. Go catch the bus, okay? my joint. Hey, seats, people, come on. Too. You, know, you better get a move on, all right? You're gonna miss the bus. What about you? Don't you have class first period? Nope. Now go on. You don't want to tick off your dad. They all here? Yeah. yeah. They, they don't look too happy. Great. charges against your father. I just read that in the paper, along with the fact that they're not charging you for perjury. My dad was found innocent. And then right afterward, he confessed to everything. But he had to. Norm made him, or else I would be going to jail for perjury. He admitted uh, what he did to Marty Saybrook, and that he was planning on kidnapping my baby. That's great. That's, that's, you know, that's good news. Um, did he, did he say anything about my mother? My dad never mentioned your mom. None of this was her fault. I heard about Manny getting off. I mean, that kid's got nine lives. And Langston's furious at Star. It's Star's fault. All of this. Hey, I thought you were talking to Star. Well, I tried, but, um, she blew me off for Mr. J. The only person that could have testified about what happened to Hope is the nurse who, who took her out of the delivery room. Right, the, uh, the woman who's working for your father. Yeah, and she's dead. son. Thought you'd learned your lesson, Matthew. You swore to us that you weren't going to smoke pot. I didn't. 
We smelled it at the house this morning when we left for work. And we even found a little roach on the ground. What are you doing coming to school high? I mean, what are you doing to yourself, Matthew? What do I have to do with you, son? Do I have to put a guard on you? It wasn't me, I swear. Well, somebody was smoking pot at the house, and I doubt it was Nigel. I think we should look into one of those programs. No, Dad, you don't have to do that. Look, it wasn't me, I swear. It was cold. So, uh, how did it feel? I mean, hearing your father confess. I'm glad my dad did it for Cole and his mom. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not gonna change anything. Your father still did what he did. My mom is still gone. I'm not gonna get over that. I know you're not gonna get over losing a baby, but maybe we can start to heal.